What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Sage 2016 videos. Today we're taking a look at the Sonic Mania fan game, Studiopolis uh, Sonic Mania fan game. And this is going to be interesting because I actually had the chance to play Studiopolis Sonic Mania at Summer of Sonic. So this is going to be interesting to sort of see how this compares. Now mind you, it's been a while since I played that, you know, it was a couple months ago. Um, and I only got to play it once, so we'll have to see the exact, the exact, you know, how much I can remember versus how much is actually in it. Alright, okay. Well, obviously there are some key differences from the get-go. Um, yeah, okay, hmm. I can obviously, yeah, like this, this was a lot closer together originally. Um, also I was able to jump up there. Can I drop dash? Okay. I cannot drop dash in this. Got it. Although I saw something in the menu for drop dash. I think it's a drop dash keyboard only. Okay, whoa, that's a that's a pose that came up very quickly. Um yeah, no. Can't drop dash. That's fine. Um the drop dash is actually a very good feature because it's like you just press the there is no insta shield. Like that insta shield I just did, that's that's not in Sonic Mania. Instead, you get the um you use the drop dash the same way. You press the jump button again in midair, but uh for that one instead you have to uh you know, you hold it and then you just start going. So it's it's a it's it's really good. Also, I'm amazed that that didn't work. Does this work though? There we go. Okay, I was going to say that didn't seem to be working there for a sec, but that works. Okay. Um, yeah, there's definitely some clear errors. Sonic Mania does feel better than this, I will say. Um, Sonic Mania, when I went to play it, it was the best feeling Sonic game I've played in years. Um, it feels like, and I, I like to use the phrase because I think a lot of people get what I'm saying. It feels like what you remember the Sonic games being like. Like, it's not... It's not exactly what the Sonic games felt like, like the classics. You know, going back and playing some of the classics, you have a much higher opinion of them than what it actually is. Um, this is a perfect example, you know. Um, but at the same time, Sonic Mania feels like what you remember it feeling like. So that's pretty cool. I would say, if you're looking into, you know, playing this as a demo, I feel like this is a good first like attempt if you will but it's no substitute for the original and i mean I, I get that's obviously what it's meant to be you know just being able to go around okay this this is bad level design with with the non-moving things um it's uh it's cool and it lets you experience studiopolis which is honestly such a nice zone uh the song and everything is amazing um but uh i would don't take this as a a a replacement for the original you know also, yeah, none of these bad dicks are in. There is Eggman things that I just got hit by. Nice. Though you kind of need to, because there's... Oh, I was going to say, you need the spring under there, but nope, there's one right there. It's kind of cool how they incorporated some of the other sprites from it, like this one. Like, that's kind of cool. The crouch is like too few frames of animation, though. Like, it's too slow. That's a little weird. I mean, whatever. It's It's really well done. Like, can you, um, like, can you imagine being at Sega and being like, oh yeah, we're gonna make this, you know, exclusive demo for, for people at Summer of Sonic and whatever, um, well, at other places too, um, and then it's like, oh, by the way, yeah, some fans have already recreated, okay, so yeah, this, this works, okay, no, you, wrong flight pose, but that's, yeah, that works exactly like it. There are a lot of instances here where the level layout's pretty much the same, which is pretty cool, um, you know, it's like, yeah, fans have recreated that demo we were using as an exclusive thing, you know, just from watching it. That's crazy to think about, and honestly, I super applaud this, this, what this is trying to do. And also the fact that uh, in the README and on the website, they say explicitly, we're not trying to recreate, wow, okay, that effect looks spot on. Um, they're like, we're not trying to recreate the entire Sonic Mania for free, we just want to let people, who whoa, 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 okay, that's a little weird. They just say, whoa. They just say they want to um, make it so that people who can't play the demo uh, play it. 
Which is, I think, is a very noble cause. Okay, I feel like a few of these jumps are a little tough to make. There you go. Oh, that's not even the way to go anyways, so that's fine. So we just gotta... Yeah, I remember I remember hitting this, uh, this Eggman chair. I didn't see it in any of the trailers, but I did see it when I was playing it. It was pretty cool. It might be in a trailer. I just might have forgotten. Moving platforms are a little jank, little jank. Um, I will say Sonic Mania, the actual game, is a lot less spaced out than this. This feels like I'm playing as a tiny Sonic. Because in the actual Mania stage, Sonic feels a lot bigger. Um, it feels a lot more, I don't know how to really say it, other than just like he feels like a a much larger character than he, how he feels here. Also, yeah, this looks a little different. You don't see the, uh, the Sonic Ball as clearly. Wow, yeah, no, this is straight from it. Wow. Okay. Like, you know, a couple areas is like, yeah, whatever, this doesn't look too much like it. No, that section looks so perfectly like it. I mean, mind you, it was prominently featured in trailers, so it would have to be. Um, let's head back into the Hornet. Oh, we have to, because I went the wrong way. This is pretty cool, though, and the fact that there are five playable characters, which is rather insane. I don't think I'll look at Knuckles and Tails, because they're they're kind of like... They're gonna be in Sonic Mania. I'll take a look at this with um, Shadow and Amy, who are exclusive. Now, I can definitely see Amy being added as a playable character, but I can't see Shadow. I keep going the wrong way. I think I got stuck here when I played Mania 2, actually. Um, No, I don't think they'll put in Shadow. I think... I think that that's beyond oh my god are you serious <sighs> I forget where I went originally like I know I went forward let's see here boy precision platforming it's a, such a nice thing that I have a um a d-pad is this where I was again what the heck where do I go wait a sec wait a second I'm going in circles, so I do have to go the other way, I guess. Guess I have to go this way. Maybe? Yeah, this looks- this is whole new territory. There we go. I think this is running off Sonic Worlds, perhaps? I could be wrong. Okay. Yep, this- this feels like Sonic Mania. Again, a little... Uh, Sonic feels too small compared to Mania. Um, it feels like he's a very small lost child. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's a valiant first attempt and a nice way to give people a little taste. It's sort of like if Sonic Mania is the... the um, you know, the butter, then this is the I can't believe it's not butter, you know? Like, it's- there are differences. This is not a perfect demo. Sonic Mania feels a lot better than this. But this is a great first attempt, for sure. And, uh, again, I applaud the efforts of recreating this all. Now, of course, this- this'll be very different to someone who hasn't played Sonic Mania, who might look at this and be like, this is, you know, so perfect and whatever. Um, oh yeah, and they- they have the- uh, they don't have you you flip up the end, but they just have a spring. Interesting. All right. Yeah. So, honestly, this is good. This is a good start. I really enjoy it. Um let's try it as yes. Um That's a lot of stuff. Wait, is it not the Interesting. Huh. Press start. Okay, I have to do that on my I have no plans of making the full game. Thank you for putting that there. Um, right, so let's actually try out the uh, other fan characters. Oh no, this is using... Wow, okay. Huh. This is using Fusion. At least I it, I clicked past that very quickly. I could be entirely wrong. So let's try out Amy. See what her deal is. Because uh, Knuckles and Tails will play as Knuckles and Tails usually do. So let's try out... Uh, So, is she, uh, let's see here, trying to figure out if she's, uh, so she does have a spin dash, 
I wouldn't mind Amy being put in, like a character that's very much a um, total, like like an overhaul, if you will. You know, someone who doesn't play like Sonic or or Tails or Knuckles, someone who's completely different. I think that'd be cool for sure. Um, so of course you can't use the shields. I'm trying to find out if you can do the um, the the crazy run jump thing from Sonic uh, Adventure. You know the one, the one that apparently not a lot of people even know about, where you're running and you, with your hammer out and you use it and you do the thing. That'd be cool. Um, I can definitely see them adding an Amy after Sonic Mega Drive put her on like the five man or the four man band. You know, so that'd be that'd be interesting. She's definitely, like, the slowest so far until I find some, some Amy tech, you know. But it's not bad, you know. I just, the only thing is you have to make sure you, you press the, uh, you press the, um, hammer button in midair for things to register as an attack. You know, you can't curl up in a ball or anything. Yeah, it's, it's Amy's Amy. That's for sure. Okay, so let's, uh, let me just skip out. No? Lame. I want to try Shadow, so I'm actually going to have to quit then, I guess. Oh no, Darkness. YouTube's least favorite thing. And... There it is, okay. Yeah, drop dash only keyboard. Space, jump plus space bar. So I guess you can't do that on, uh, on controller, which is a bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. But you know what? That's fine. You don't need the drop dash. It just makes the game so much more fun. Guys, the drop dash is great. Drop dash is really good. It's really good. So we'll try out Shadow and then I think we'll call this a video. Again, I wanted to try to give them about 10 minutes each. But, uh, it, I mean, I want to get at least one level done for sure. Press any button. I am. Oh, I didn't save my, my keys, I guess. Did it? Oh, it did. Okay, weird. Okay. If for some reason pressing start, even though I binded start to start on my controller, it doesn't exactly always work. Oh, look at this edge lord. We've all seen this sprite before. Whoa, we have- Wait, what? Yo, Shadow plays like Boost Sonic? That's actually pretty cool. Now that's something that if he were added, I would totally be down for. Yeah, he has the double jump. Oh my god, that's actually so cool. Okay, actually, I lied. I want to play this a little bit more. Yeah, the, 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 the lock-on sound effect, though, is not the best. It's kind of loud and jarring. That's cool. I mean, I guess because, though, it's like a Genesis-type game, it doesn't have the same speed, you know, as using the boost. Like, the boost is... Feels like just more of an offensive attack than like in Sonic Rush where, because that is clearly the Sonic Rush um, boost gauge. You know, like there it definitely feels like you get super crazy fast. Here it just feels like a slight speed up and um, and like offensive ability. Mostly because you can't go too fast in this. Like Sonic Mania goes fast. Sonic Mania is 60 frames per second of speed, you know, versus this which is, whoa, oh my god, are you serious? We have wall jumps. Okay, Shadow is just hey, screw the Genesis. This is this is this is where the fun is, you know. Can he use the shields? No, obviously not. Okay, I like Shadow quite a bit. He's uh, <laughs> he's you know what? I I I am not opposed to characters in Sonic games that just play completely differently, you know. And this is one example of that. I just go a little bit further. Ah, uh, but, okay, so that's not infallible, infallible, whatever. They even got the Dancing Eggman statue, or uh, Dancing Eggman thing there, which is great. Okay, I think that's about enough. Use up my meter. Let's see what happens when he dies. She maybe not, it's gonna take a while. Alright, dudes, thank you for watching the Sonic Mania fan game for Sage, and uh, we'll see you next time for the next submission, whatever that may be. See ya, dudes. Ciao. This song is too good though, oh my god I love it.